Welcome to Talking Beards, an entertainment news podcast all about the facial hair lifestyle and the people who use their beards and mustaches to help change the world. Join your hosts, World Goatee Champion Aaron D. Johnston and two-time National Goatee Champion Scott Sakura as they talk about all the important issues in the community from charity events, competition news, styling tips, breaking news, and much more. Tune in every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern as we stream live on all social media platforms as well as TalkingBeards.com and answer all of your questions. Join in our chat room and be a part of the show each week as we give away great prizes, compliments of Honest Amish. I am your host, Aaron D. Johnston, and I am Scott Sakura, and we are Talking Beards. Oh, hey, what's going on, everybody in uh, Talking Beards world? Uh, tonight, this is going to be episode number 146, and this is going to be episode number 223 of the podcast. Scott has a lot of podcasts to get ready, because this is probably like the 10th one. But as you can see, Scott Sakura is also, or uh, he's not here again. So we have Matt McClure of Beard Laws. How are you doing tonight, Matt? I'm good. How's it going, man? Oh, it is fantastic. We have we have Frank the Tank on the show tonight. I even Super know how to excited. say his last name and everything now. I'm professional. Prove it. <laughs> uh, a Buddha. Uh, a Buddha or just a Buddha? Uh, a Buddha. Just oh, one. Nailed it. Yeah. Yeah. Nailed so, it. yeah, we got Frank from uh, Bearded Villains of Northern Virginia or the Northern Virginia Bearded Villains. Whatever. It's the same thing. The, I'm I'm probably wrong, but there's only one of them. And he's from that group. And they're putting on a competition this weekend called Jingle Beards. Three. Three. Yeah. Jingle Beards number three. So, it'll be a good time. We're going to be there. As in me and Natalie, not me and me and Matt, because you know Matt doesn't go anywhere. He's basically he's filling in Scott Sakura's shoes. Yeah, you know, <laughs> if I had a little less time to to fill in the shoes, I mm -hmm. probably could travel more. No, I'd probably well, save them You should get better shoes. I don't know. I should like your sweet new shoes. Dadgummit. Oh yeah. So speaking of my sweet new shoes, we were together last week, and you matched my new shoes. And then I yeah. left them sitting right here, and I didn't get to wear them all weekend. And it was your fault. Yeah, that is my <laughs> fault. Am you I were matching the... your shoes this weekend? Or this this moment right now in this podcast? I'm not wearing any shoes. Oh, so well, I'm wearing things. So, so yeah. no, we don't match this week. But um, you know what What we can do this week, Matt? This is, what? This is super exciting. Oh, my gosh. Look what at this. So... Ready. Remember this one time where you taught me this new thing and then I learned it and then yeah. we're going to do it again. So tonight, what? if you would like to win some honest Amish, put in the chat, hashtag Frank the tank. So, you know, that's, that's our guest for tonight. And we were like, that's perfect. So obviously, you know, if you want to win some honest Amish, just put in hashtag Frank the tank and maybe, be, maybe be. Maybe, Maybe tonight can... you'll win. I just created a new word. So would you like to know what people could potentially win? It's not going to be Andrew, but some. Oh, I'd love to know what they could win. So we got some pure oil, which is the unscented version of the classic. Unless you didn't know that. It's kind of uh, like the golden slice of the beard oils because you don't, if you, if you're not into the overpowering scents and you want to just know the carry oils, the mm -hmm. pure is the way to go. And you could win pure, it. You could. And so for scent, then you can add, the Honest Amish Bayou Blend. Oh, it's which, so good. you know, is the best balm, I think. Um, and then, if you want to tame your beard a little bit, you can put in some original beard wax. This is the first product Honest Amish had created back Ooh. in the day, just so you know. And uh, we have some extra grit Honest Amish Beard and Body Soap. So good. So there you go. So this, this prize pack could be yours. It could be. It has if everything you, you need for your beard and your body. Yeah, you can wash your whole body and uh, put a bunch of stuff in your beard. And you can put this oil on all your skin, too. So, you know, it's it's wintertime and people get dry skin and, and whatnot, especially up there where you are, Matt McClear. Ooh. It's like yeah, we, zero degrees right now. No, it's it's like 30, but it's snowing pretty good. It's 30. That's like a heat wave. Why is it so hot right now? 
I don't know. Apparently, it's got to warm up a little bit to snow. And, and <sighs> it's I guess. sure snowing. Well, apparently, where we will be next week, it is also snowing. So that Ooh. is dumb. I'm yeah. not looking forward to it. But guess what I get to get next week? This is breaking news, and I should have loaded the freaking picture in here. I just thought about it. Um, well, if it was a game show, they'd say a new car, a brand new car. Natalie and I got a uh, 3D printed statues of ourselves. Oh, I saw yeah. that. And not they the are statues, in. but yeah, we you got guys st- were doing them. Uh, so yeah, we went to the mall in Niles, Ohio, and we're just kind of walking around and just stumbled across this 3D printing statue making place, kind of like they had at Nationals, and we mm-hmm. talked about it at Nationals. And we just never got around to doing it. And we just stumbled across this place in the mall and we did it. So we'll have, yeah, dude, it was extremely painful. The the 3D lasers were very lasery and hot, but it was worth it. Totally worth it. So, yeah, we'll have these cool little 3D statue model things that we can travel the country with. And you'll never know what me and Natalie, many Aaron and Natalie might be doing. You never know. We could be like doing everything. All yeah, you could be pooping at a truck stop. You could be climbing a mountain and you could be making a snowman or having a snowball fight. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. I should throw snowballs at Statue Natalie and TikTok it. You should. I mean, that's probably gonna People go viral. Love it. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Adam Hart says, shout out to Ohio. Yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> it's got says, two O's and high in the middle. <laughs> what? <laughs> two O's and high in the middle. It does. You're oh. an idiot. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? <sighs> this doesn't even matter anymore. <laughs> well, Scott Turner, he's throwing oh, out. Yeah. Not once, not twice, three times. Just like Scott Jingle Turner Beard. hates Bucky's because Bucky's hates semi trucks. Did you know that? I heard that. It makes no sense, really. There's plenty of room for trucks, but, you know, it, they hate them. So Scott Turner hates Bucky's. And- Maybe it's because truck drivers, they, they they poop too big, and then mm-hmm. there's just all sorts of plumbing problems. And uh, Brown it, 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 Friday. Yes, but on a Monday. And oh, a my Tuesday. gosh. There's nothing worse than a Brown Friday on a Monday. <sighs> Unreal. <laughs> ding, ding. Hey, Barefoot Brains is here. There he is. So, uh, I don't even know if we finished this conversation earlier. What have you been up to, Matt McClear? Um, just working. It's heating That's season. It. So, yeah, I mean, once, you know, the beginning of heating season, work pretty much, you know, six days a week. So, yeah, once once it starts to heat up in June, then uh, then I can go back to five days a week. But just kind of been working, getting uh, getting ready to <laughs> help spread. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, just getting ready to spread some some Christmas cheer, hopefully. Wow. And uh, potentially, if you want some breaking news for Talking Beards that you, you've heard here first, I have all of the paperwork and everything ready to break a Guinness World Record uh, in the next couple of weeks. I just have to figure out if I'm going to do it and read the fine print again. Mm, so I've been chatting yeah. with Joel Nert, who has more Guinness records than, you know, probably many statues that were printed at the Nationals. Probably. And, uh, we've just kind of been just talking with him about some techniques and you know all the the fine details. So, gonna Can and it has to, it doesn't have to be live, but it has to be right. in a public place being recorded. So I might do some of it live, but uh, you should yeah. do the whole thing live. Why would you not? How long do you think it's going to take you to do what you're going to do? Hours, really? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna break the Guinness World Record for most full size ornaments in a beard. What what are you uh what are you at right now? Uh, I'm going for two hundred and forty four. What'd you do last time? I don't remember. Around you didn't count them, so, you just, around there. No, I counted, but it was whatever the increments of there. I and I left like five out of the boxes so I could go for there. So probably like two thirty nine, two forty. They'll have those ornaments? Oh yeah. Yeah, nice. I have more ornaments than the local um pharmacy. <laughs> Grocery store, Walmart. This is amazing. So what when when are you gonna do it? I have no I idea. I'm hoping, two weeks, but you don't have like a this is the day we're doing it. No, I was thinking potentially the eighteenth of December. Eighteenth of should, December is a day. It is a day, and it's a day that I might be doing it. 
I don't know. I think it'd be pretty cool. It, it's going to probably uh, not be fun because you have to do like everything yourself mm-hmm. and the strategy. And I practiced the other day and it was. So you can't even cool. have help with putting the ornaments in. You have to do nope. the whole thing. Yep. So, yep. So thankfully I've done it a couple of times. Well, I don't know if that's thankful or not, but yeah, yeah I got the strategy that I think I want to do. And we'll, well you have we'll practice, but the best part is, I have to just get close to 240 something because there isn't one right now for full size ornament. Joel has the most baubles and something else, but nobody has full size. So they're making a category for you. They made it up. Yep. They've already approved it. They've made it. I just have to pretty much document it and follow the rules. So you're saying that I have to go for 250. Mm -hmm. And then we could just go back and forth until we get to a thousand. But it takes like, at least nine or 10 months to get through all the paperwork and stuff. It's all I heard was blue balls on Matt's face. I didn't even say anything about blue. And I was going to do it for Adam Hart's birthday on the 18th is why I was doing it. But but leave it up to a chops guy to mess it all up, even though he's right? not a chops guy. He's a chops guy at heart. That's true. He has a chops guy at heart. <laughs> blue ball ornaments, he says. I'll do all blue balls ornaments for you. That's a lie. I already, I already bought should. it. So right. what have you been up to? Oh my gosh. What have I been up to? Holy oh crap. What a week. <laughs> uh, I was just thinking about that. Okay. So um, last time we saw each other was right here a week ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, Natalie and I came home from Orlando. We went down there for two days. Uh, we were here for 15 hours total. Yeah. And uh, one hour of that I was doing talking beards. So we were really only here 14 hours. Um, in one hour, you slept. Yes, one hour I slept. So I was, you know, I was home for a good bit. Um, and then we drove from here. We went to uh, Owensboro, Kentucky. And then we went to Hardensburg, Kentucky. Back to Owensboro, back, back to Hardensburg, back to Owensboro. And then from there, we went to Louisiana. Wow. And that was Friday. And then Friday, we went to Louisiana. It was an 11-hour drive. And then I uh, went to the competition at 8.30 Saturday morning. Who does that? <laughs> I was like, yes. is this a typo? It was most indeed not a typo. Uh, I set up at 8.30 in the morning, uh, hung out until I think about 2.30, something like that. And it was a good time. It was a really good competition. Uh, it, it was a pretty good turnout. Probably about 10 vendors. A lot of people stopped by and said hello, talked to a bunch of new people. That was pretty cool. And then uh, Sunday we drove home, and then voila, we're back here where we started. Would you say it was the the largest beard competition that Louisiana's ever seen? Yes. That's what their marquee thing said. (laughs) So, I mean, I've been to MobFest, and it seemed pretty big, but maybe it was was a different different thing. I I don't know. Well, MobFest didn't have Biz Marquis, so that's probably that is why. true. And neither did this one. Oh, uh, it was Cousin Marquis. Cousin Marquis. Yeah. It was it wasn't it wasn't the the OG. It was a different one. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, but yeah, that was that was my week. It was super hectic. And then I'm back here uh doing director of marketing stuff from the house Monday and emailing and package sending and you know. All that good fun stuff, and now today, it's literal the same. And now, doing talking beards, ta-da! Like a big circle. And then Friday we leave again, and then we'll be back and then do talking beard. No, we're not going to do talking beards next oh. week. So next week we're not going to do talking beards, everybody. <laughs> you get the week off, December seventh. I will be off. Matt will be off, and so will Scott Sakura. So there will be no talking beards here next week. Um. But the week after that, fingers crossed, Scott Sakura is in his new home in Texas with internet and a computer and a desk or something. And we'll have Scott Sakura back in two weeks. So he's just so just a little update on Scott Sakura. He he's fine. He's alive and well. He doesn't have the uh, uh the omnichrome or whatever the new COVID is. Sounds uh, like a crayon color. I forgot what it was. I've been calling it the wrong thing all week. And then when it, when you do that and then it comes time to actually say the real thing, you forgot it. Cause you've already been calling it something else the whole time. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a new one. There's a new one. Hmm. I think it's, 
I know it's not Omnichrome, but it's something like that. Anyway, it's the new COVID. It's it's coming for us. So um, he doesn't have that. Good. Um, but yeah, he's just o- completely overextended himself. That is absolutely what he has done. He's tried to move out of his house, redo his house, move all the stuff, sell stuff, sign paperwork, dog sit an hour and a half from his house while having a full time job, and he's just ran out of time. He's just he's out of time. <laughs> yeah. He's like. I think I can be there by eight. I was like, do you just want to cancel? He's like, that will probably be for the best. <laughs> so, um, Cause Scott score probably cruising in here right now and have no idea what's going on. So we're here. Matt kind of knows what's going on. I never do, but we're here together and that's all that matters. We are. And so, what's cool is you're going to about to introduce, but I just want to remind anybody, cause there's a couple new names come through hashtag Frank the tank. And you can win there a whole bunch of honest, honest stuff. And you, right now, there you could be one of 12. But if you enter right now, you could be one of 13. And that's pretty decent odds to win a whole bunch of great stuff. The best for your beard. Best for your beard. So, yeah, um, Adam, at the end of the episode, I will give away all four products. And if I do not already have your address, I will reach out to you. I will get your address, and I will get it out in the mail tomorrow. Um, yeah. So are you ready to do this, Matt? Are you ready to do this, Frank the Tank? I think I've never been are. more ready. And I want Andrew to keep track of how many times we say Frank the Tank during this episode. Yeah, Frank the Tank. Let's go. So tonight we have from the Northern Virginia villains, not even the bearded villains, because it says right there on the little little Jingle Beards ad thing. Bearded? No. Northern Virginia, just regular old villains. They're just regular old villains. Uh, but yeah, they're putting on their competition this weekend, December. Uh, fourth. There we go. December fourth, beer competition at twelve o'clock. It will be in Leesburg, Virginia. And now we're going to learn all about this amazing new competition. Now, three years of a competition. Three. Matt, help me. Three I'm amazing years. Sucking it in. What's up, Frank? <laughs> What's Frank? going on, fellas? How are you guys doing? Oh, Aaron, we are Matt, fantastic. It's a pleasure. I'm struggling with words tonight, but we we're we're it's doing all right. it. Anyway. Your looks do. Your looks. Make up for it. It's all right. Thanks. Oh, no hey, there's See? no point. There's no points for sucking up to the. No. To the, hey, well, I mean, he is coming yourself. to the competition. <laughs> oh, fair enough. All right. I'm there's so kidding. many it's points right. for sucking up. To the, <laughs> there's none for me. How are you the doing? It looks tonight, great. Bro? I'm doing great. Thank Good. you. It's uh great to be here. Great. I'm excited. This is this did, is going to be a get, great weekend. Did you get all your shopping done at Costco? I did. I did. I did. We I talked listening. earlier, so a little behind the scenes for everybody. Every episode, we try to get with the guests to make sure <laughs> their audio, video, and all that stuff's working properly. Mm. <laughs> Frank calls me from Costco. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> There's just some dude walking around behind him and yeah. trying to figure out what's going on, but well, we're good now. Good scenery, but yeah, this we're, works better. This is perfectly it's fine. fine. So, it looks fine. Yeah. Yeah. Are you okay. ready for your competition this weekend? I couldn't be more than more than ready. Um, we <laughs> am so excited for this to happen. You know, every year this is this is really big for us here uh, in the in the in the Nova Nova uh, Club here. And so this um, is your this is your third one. The third one, yeah, third one. Um, the first one was in person, and then coronavirus happened. Okay. Wah, wah, wah. Hey, we had an online, online one. Yeah, 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 online. Um, but we're just we're glad we're excited to be back in person and and really getting some, you know, face to face time with everybody and seeing everyone there and just everyone doing coming together for a good cause, you know. Yeah, dude. This is this is yeah. gonna be a good time yeah. and it's it's early. So so you get get going at noon. Yeah. Um we're gonna start well that's Saturday, yeah. Um Saturday's gonna start registration ends at noon. Um, that's when, but right after registration, we're going to start, we're going to start, um, you know, start with their kids, whiskerinas. Um, we've got nine categories going on. Yeah. Kids, whiskerina, um, style stash, partial beard, freestyle, freestyle partial beard, and then, uh, business beard zero to four and then all natural beard four to eight, all natural beard, um, eight to 12 and, uh, and then full, you know, all natural 12 and up. Nice. So like to up. touch a little bit, everyone, everyone yep. give a chance the to everyone show, to correct. participate. I'm sorry. And then uh best to show. Is best that to show. Best yep. in show. 
Question show. So I you wish have I had all the trophies the, here to show all the but... good important categories. Did you say you have the trophies there? I I I, I kind of do. Yeah. Can do. can you show off a trophy? You you want to see a trophy? Dude, that'd be amazing. Do we want to see the trophy? I have best. I really want to show best in show, but it's in the it's in the vehicle. Let me just show you just some. Let me just show you one. Right. Oh my gosh, we get some like breaking news stuff. This was completely unplanned. <laughs> so many breaking news. And for anybody that is wondering, you can still register. You just go to bvnova.bigcartel.com. It's right on their Facebook page, Jingle Beards. You guys can just Google Jingle Beards three. There's a link, and uh, you know uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be exciting. The All proceeds right. are going to go for the Toys for Tots, which is obviously a uh, a, a pretty cool As thing. much as we all love to partake in charity and, and helping others, these trophies, this is first place. Oh, my it is God. A nutcracker, and we will have, uh, you know, your plaques up front. But, yeah, this is uh, this is uh, first place. Does it say villains and and it will first place it will say jingle beards on? it will say you know jingle beards three first place and then the category I have them we just need to uh I like that get them I like that up. a yeah, freaking lot it's different it's nice something that you can put up every night every year yeah dude that's, you know, that's and, amazing and they got beards so it works out perfectly Perfect. you know? yeah they if you do notice they have a form of a goatee mm-hmm. and that is the most prestigious <laughs> facial hair I'll ever created I knew know. you like that that's why. Yeah. This is <laughs> all you right here. So they all matching, all, uh, all the nutcrackers. They're all they're all a little different. First, cool. you know, first, second, and third. There's about three different kind of versions for each uh, each place. So not everyone's got the same looking nutcracker, but yeah, I love it. I absolutely one hundred percent love the nutcracker yeah. trophy. That uh, is, it's that's amazing. I'm, ex- I'm excited to hand them out, see people's yeah, reactions. It's Christmas it's, competition. It's, awesome. it's perfect. You know, absolutely yeah. perfect. Good job right? on that. Thank yeah. you. All for the yeah. kids. Yep. Yeah, kids, dude. You know, that's what it's awesome. yeah. so the the kids category that'll be first. Um kids are you kids, are you gonna judge first. them and then present them with their trophy and then move on? Or are you gonna are we'll, you gonna have it we'll, wait till we'll the, wait end of the, the end. night? Wait till the okay. end and make everyone, you know Okay, cool. Cringe and wait and wonder, yeah. you know. I just it's great. Know, the suspense so. is real. I love it. You know, <laughs> I know so when I compete, a, it's it's great. I just it's an early wait. competition, so it's you know, that's yeah. Plenty of time for the kids just to hang out and stuff. So this is, yeah. this is I assume, is going to be pretty uh, family friendly. Yes, for the kids. definitely. Now the location, the venue, uh, Loudon Kitchen, uh, Loudon Kitchen and Bar. It's a really nice venue. Uh, they okay. have like I believe like six, seven pool tables. They have dartboard, four dartboard, four or five dartboards. Um, they have a little arcade section for the kids to go play in the arcade section. You know, they have the Luigi Mansion. How you? That's where you'll find me. What the that. hell? So yeah, yeah. I mean, you get in the thing, get your little vacuum in there. It's great. It's awesome. It takes me back. That's amazing. Well, yeah. I'm not even gonna yeah. so, show up at your competition now. I'm just. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really Where's Aaron? I don't know. He, he set up his table and he left. <laughs> <laughs> I just left like a cup. For Somewhere money. over. Yeah. yeah. He's over there. So arcade, uh, just arcade section. So how late do you expect for this to run? Like, what's your what's your scheduled? Uh, I'm gonna here. say about seven, around seven o'clock. Seven o'clock is shoot. Seven seven thirty. Okay. Uh, it should be all over with, and then um, after we get done with that, about well, uh, seven o'clock, and then after you know we have our raffles. We'll call our raffles. We have raffle items. Uh, fifty fifty. We'll be doing the fifty fifty, and then we have some really cool auction items. Um, we have um my uh, our co captain Blaze. He his mother. Um, knitted. She she made a quilt, and it's pretty cool. She took some old shirts of ours, you know, from the from the you know the different kind of chapters, and I got you know I should have sent you a picture, but we it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. And then we got a cheesecake made made by uh, Rob. You know Rob? Never heard of his. No, 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 I don't know. I don't. I know nothing about Rob. I just know him. I just know Rob. That's all I know about. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't know. Never heard of him. Cheesecakes are phenomenal. I'm just saying. I've heard. I've never heard of him, but I've heard his cheesecakes are amazing. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you say Rob the cheesecake guy. Yep. Everyone that's knows it. that guy. Yeah. Great All guy. Right, so Great you're guy. gonna have uh raffles, you're gonna have fifty fifty, you're gonna nope. have auctions. All the all the right little things to try to raise a little bit of extra money for uh, yeah. toys for tots, right? So anything, is, anything, any kind anything is, is helpful. What uh you know. 
is it just toys for tots in general or is it specific to a town that you're yeah in general it's a, it's toys for tots in general. okay yeah. cool yeah we'll we have, did a uh, thing marines for, there and we everything. did toys for tots i think like in youngstown ohio and that's that grouping of kids i guess is the ones that got the toys that's why i was asking yeah, I was just curious. yeah no uh, I, I used to live in ohio about six seven years yeah we're at northeast ohio northeast ohio uh akron Stowe area okay yeah, not too far from just to Cleveland, but yeah, I know Youngstown definitely is definitely an area that would need that. Mm-hmm. And it seems that's like great. It. That's and great. They were all yeah. super pumped to, to have yeah. them. So that was fun. And yeah, now you're now good. y'all are doing it. So that's yeah. that's good. You know, the more this the more the merrier. More people will do it. More kids mm-hmm. will get toys and have a great Christmas. You know. Heck yeah, dude! That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So um, there will be a competition going on that day as well. Who are going to be the, your judges for this competition while we're raising money well, for Toys for Tots? Um, well, we have uh, – I'm really bad with last names. Like, Me too. Carla. Carla. You got this. Carla. Carla. Carla of Carla. Rob Cheesecake fan. Rob Cheesecake, yes. <laughs> yes. Rob, so she's probably watching this. She's like, I'm going to kill you, Frank. Yeah, uh, it'll, it'll I love work. you, Carla. Just know that. Just, um, just, she's been phenomenal a, a supporter since day one. Um, and she knows her beards. She definitely knows her beards. She's okay. Um, <laughs> uh, we have, um, a Marine. Um, he's going to be, he judged it. No, I'm sorry. He didn't judge. He was one. Um, he, he's been, he's been with us every, every, uh, every toys for tots, every jingle, you know, that we've done every year. He's always been there to collect and, and help out. Um, did I say I was bad with names? You got two judges so far. Right? Okay. Yes. <laughs> and then we have a local. Uh, one of my, she's a, also a friend of mine, Amelia Keen. I know okay. her last name. Nailed so that easy. one. Yeah, can't. Yeah, can't let that up. Um, Master Barber. She does my beard all the time. Uh, she's on some. Uh, she's on a few other people that are you know beard, whether in the beard the BV or other beard clubs, um, beards and. I can tell you that she knows what she's doing. I don't let anyone else touch my beard other than her. I mean, she does a good job, obviously. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I mean, you could tell her to take a little bit off the sides, but you know, then it would look amazing. But now, really? I mean, it looks pretty good. Yeah. Like yeah. all the way. Like, like yeah, off. There you uh, go. I'll, Perfect. I'll think about. It. I'll let her know. <laughs> no, but that, don't take too much. Then you're she'll, gonna look like this guy. Yeah, she'll kill me. Actually, she told me, "Don't you ever." But don't. Well, no, she was probably saying, "Don't ever be chops." Yeah, no, she I didn't just, know I, you wanted to go. I just don't want. She doesn't want me to be in your category. That's all. Mm. Smart, so, you know. Yeah, smart. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you got three judges. Is that it? Yes, and then we we have five total. We have um a gentleman named uh, Brett. He is an own. He is the owner of Tobaccoology. He's got two cigar uh, cigar shops, one in Haymarket, Virginia, and one in Manassas, Virginia. And he's got a a, a nice beard himself. He's a great supporter uh, of our chapter as well. So he'll be, uh, he, he was ecstatic to come. And then good old Sean, uh, Duff, hmm. Sean Duff, you know, Sean Duff. It kind of, it, is that the guy that's really good at familiar. Familiar. big, he's, he's got a conja? big beard. Concha? No. Oh, mm. he runs around sticks fingers at people's butts. That's is that, the guy. Is that's that him. you guys know him? I don't yeah. know him like that, but mm-hmm. that's, don't worry. You will. Okay. I'll make sure that hands, you, that's what he does. I will make sure <laughs> that you know Sean Duff personally by the time Saturday is over. Right. I thought I met him. I, oh yeah, no, yeah, I did meet him at uh, nationals, but I didn't meet him like that. But you mm-hmm. met him briefly. Yeah, you okay. you will meet him personally Saturday. Looking forward to it. I'm you excited. Should. See, look at this, King of Concho. <laughs> that says Concha. Corey doesn't have a mustache. He doesn't <laughs> understand words. It's not his fault. It's not his fault. All right, so you got your uh, a steam panel of judges. Who who's going to be your MC Saturday? Our MC, he's uh, his name. He goes by his Nick. His name is Nick. He's out of uh, Pennsylvania. He's also he's part of the uh, Pennsylvania Southern Villains or the South yeah. Southern Villain. Yeah, the Southern PA South PA Villains. I believe they go by. Sounds yeah. good. He's yeah, a what's work- Nick's yeah, last guy. name? Yeah, Nick. It's Nick. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a Nick, a Carla, yes. a Brett, a Marine, yes. yeah. and Miss Keen. Yes. Yep, that's it. Yes. Miss Keen. Well, go. I mean, that must be part of your thing because your last name's not on any of your social medias. Yeah, you know. 
So it's, you just like don't believe in last names or what is it's just the label. What do you need two two names? You got one name. I it. agree. Just, yeah. No. <laughs> I it's was like easy. really looking around, like I'm gonna find this dude's freaking last name. I know it's been on here. Incognito. I was like looking through everything. I'm like, I give up. <laughs> <laughs> it's the tank. Yeah, yeah that's what it tank. is on Facebook. That's the tank. The tank. <laughs> has, yeah. has Facebook said anything to you about your last name being the tank? No, no, no. Surprised they no. let that through. They're like, no, this doesn't work. Well, you nope, can't judge me. Yes, sir, Mister the Tank. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you said earlier that you might may or may not still have hotel deals. Were you able to figure out if you had hotel deals or not left? Um, not, not particularly. It was, uh, I guess uh, a little too late to give them a call or the gentleman I was, I was dealing with was not there, but definitely I can, it's not an issue. We can always get some more if yeah. needed to. I know I do. Have, there is a few more rooms left and, um, you know, if there's, if they're up, you know, again, uh, our IG, our Facebook at, uh, Northern Virginia villains, Reach out. Feel free to reach out, and we'll get you. We'll get you a room at a good price. Cool. Yep, there is a link too on the <laughs> Facebook page under the registration online that does have a link to it too. So it might yes. be able to click and see if you get a special rate. Maybe that way too. Yep, definitely. And if it's Clarenton, it's uh, Clarenton Suites. Okay. Yes, the you comfort might just suites, know. comfort suites. But please, yeah, again, always uh, any reach out. We'll yeah. somebody will get back. And I reached, I looked around for hotels. They were extremely plentiful, and they yes. were actually really not that yes. bad. They were mm. some of the cheaper hotels, you know, that I've yeah. I've found traveling here lately. So that's pretty good. So mm. there's really no reason for nowhere not to go. There, there's hotels. There's judges. There's MCs. You got raffles and you got music. And you got DJ playing music. Do you yeah. have DJ Polly D? Uh, Polly no, that's P. That's two names. I can only Polly have one. P. Oh, well, that's Polly. fine. Polly, DJ Polly, DJ, DJ Polly. Polly. Well, wow, that's pretty good. DJ Polly, yeah. It could be Polly D. DJ come, Polly. Come find out. Um, yeah, actually, DJ Michelle, but DJ Paul, Polly. Yeah, Michelle's She'll get fine. It. She'll she get it. she goes by you know, Paul Polly, something <laughs> on the side sometimes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that'll be. We have some music going. You know. Wow, music's good. good. Mm-hmm. Oh they yeah, are so, twins. They yeah. are. Have you yeah. ever met Buffon? You know, on um, not in person, but I did meet him um, through video chat at Nationals. Okay, he, you know, it's you. This is your. This is you. And we, he looked at, busted out laughing. And he's it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you if if you were like super but old and had a chain, like, and cha- a lot of shave my mustache. Beard. His mustache grew back yet? Or yeah, he did. He it grew back it? like yeah. a day. Yeah, right. That's what I thought. It makes no sense. No, you should doesn't. shave your mustache off and see if it grows back in a day. <laughs> yeah, I'll think about that. Your barber won't care. She'll she'll be fine with it. Oh yeah, as long as she doesn't see me. Yeah, I can dodge with the whole competition. We'll be fine. Yeah, just walk around like this. Yeah. <laughs> or you can have your mustache mate. There and you go. And she'll never know the difference. Never. <laughs> You're like, what? This is me. Yeah, I'm fancy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh you are going to be at the Loudon Kitchen and Bar. Loudon Kitchen and Bar. Yeah, so, in uh, Leesburg, Virginia. That's just this venue. It sounds amazing. So it's it does is. it have a a spot for a stage and stuff or are we just kind of pushing yeah. tables off to the side? It's um it's got ta- it's got um it's got the tables, it's got um it's got booths, it's got a bar that's probably as long as the venue. Very large bar. Um they even have a section that's indoor to indoor bar where you can, where if you smoke, you can smoke your cigarettes indoors. So we don't have to stand outside and smoke, which is pretty cool. I don't know. My, I don't know how many bars still do that, but the whole bar is smoking. Yeah. Not the whole bar, just a small section. Oh, okay. That's like, that's secluded from, you know, you have to go through a door to get in that section to smoke your cigarette while watching, drinking and watching whatever's on. Cool. But so the yeah. stage and stuff's inside. The stage is inside. It's a cool. uh, yeah, nice little stage, just so people doesn't jump and jump so, and hurt themselves or anything. So everybody step. should. Jump Everyone off should. The stage. Yeah, yeah. Get so That's what I heard. Yeah, yeah, so much crowd mm-hmm. surfing. Mm-hmm. It's out there. We're, it gets wild out here, man. <laughs> so here. Every, so people are going to start showing up Friday night or Friday during the day. Do you have anything for people to do on Friday? 
Friday evening, actually, we're going to be meeting uh, meeting at that venue. Okay. Um, that'll be our little meet and greet. It's just keeping it nice and simple right there. Uh, everything right there. It is, again, it's got pool tables, uh, dart boards, you know, um, arcade, and then you got the whole, I'm not sure if they are doing karaoke. That might be going on maybe later on Saturday. And after after the comp is finished, we, there is a... Um, a bar that's not too far away from there that the DJ is going to to do some karaoke. So, so everybody be some follow DJ party. Michelle to the after party. <laughs> um, yeah. So, do you have anything be, Sunday? Sunday, Sunday, um, not anything in particular. Gotcha. Um, breakfast for every man for himself. There but you go. As far yeah. as you know, you know, wake up Sunday and take your, you know. Take your nutcracker and head on home. I might compete now. I had no no. You should see. In I'm telling you, best in show. Until I saw the else. nutcrackers, I may have to try to go get one of those. Is second and third get a nutcracker too, or just first? yeah? They're just smaller. They're smaller. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, I believe third uh, third place is um, 12, 12 millimeters. Millimeters. What are yeah. those? It's millimeters. <laughs> it's what the website says. <laughs> <laughs> where did you order these things from Canada. Probably, it's it's a from overseas so you know they're, we're, Freaking millimeters. they're different uh, it's different <laughs> <laughs> but they oh, there you go. Adam Hart stuff. says Matt you should go do karaoke I love karaoke and Galen okay. said I'm amazing to do it I I, um, yeah, I would you, probably sing you, the theme song amazing. Of the, um, I'm assuming the Beard of Villains, Virginia. Your 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 song is Meet Virginia, so I would probably sing that for you guys. Um, well, there is, there is a Virginia chapter, but we're Northern Virginia. Oh, so it it, it wouldn't work. We would have to. Meet add, I would have to Northern ask them Virginia. To sing it. Meet North Virginia. Yeah. I guess yeah, we, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, we can change Perfect. it. Perfect. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, millimeters. Is Leesburg in Canada? No, I'm sorry. It is sorry, not, Andrew Matson. It is not. It is not. It is in the Virginia. He gets really excited US. because he's from Canada, so he just wants to be, you know, people to be having a floppy head like him. But no, it's just you, Andrew. You are the only floppy headed one here. I'm sorry, um, Andrew, that they treat you like this. Freaking Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> it, he deserves it. All right. <laughs> really. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He does. Well, I see. I see. I love. I see the love. That's good. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. So, uh, I don't know. Do you have anything else you want to talk about your your comp? I mean, you, um, you're, you said you're um, all ready for it. You got anything be, we're special sponsors? We got um, yeah, Pulpo Pulpo beer oil. Uh, beer oil. Okay, is a sponsor and also honest Amish. What? Yeah, yeah believe it That's or not, amazing. It's crazy, right? It's crazy. There- but both great fun. sponsors. I'm excited to have them. Thank you. Which we can't thank you guys enough. You know, Bupa, if you're watching this, thank you so much. Uh, again, Aaron, thank you so much. It's uh, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a great yeah, time. Yeah, it's gonna be a great time. And I assume you got your your box of stuff already. Yes, 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 we nice. did. Thank you. Did you open yeah. it and go through it? I haven't yet. I have I was, I, It wasn't sent to me, unfortunately. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or else there would be nothing. <laughs> I mean, you would just, just it. have it all over me. Nothing, yeah. nothing came in. I don't, I don't know what to do. Yeah, I've been waiting off, on that man. package. Oh. You know, crazy. <laughs> but you know, it's crazy though. If you can't make the competition, uh, and, and you did want to win some honest homage, there's a cool hashtag that you put in the chat after the one and the only. What is Frank it? The tank. Oh. Speaking yeah. of, look at this. What? If you have just started watching and you want to win some honest Amish products tonight, just type in hashtag Frank the Tank. And at the end of this episode, you will win. How many well, times have we said Frank the Tank now? Yeah, yeah right. Andrew, how count? many times have we said Frank the Tank? Like I the think tank. he was keeping track of Frank the Tank, and then he was like, "Should I keep track of how many times we said Frank the Tank?" And I think he said Frank the Tank was twelve earlier. And I think twelve just, Frank the Tanks. No, nah, there's definitely more than twelve Frank the Tanks at this time. We're sure. going to set the Guinness record for most times said Frank the Tank in uh, in, in forty minutes. Oh, Frank the Tank. Frank the Tank. So Matt, you know the people. You you should bring them in and just be <laughs> like, all right, this episode of Talk of Beards, we're gonna say Frank the Tank the most amount of times. Or like, so we need a a page inside of uh Guinness Book of World Records. A page inside the page, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah well, bring them in. Yeah. They're backstage, aren't they? No, they, they didn't. I don't know. The invite? They're all they're in backstage at TikTok Tuesday. This is oh, a different show. Oh. I sent them the wrong. Well, that's not going to make any sense. I filled out the paperwork wrong again. That's a, that's a, that's a different studio. And there goes my my fees and money. <laughs> yeah, you're you wasted all that money, Matt. It's all gone. Oh, all gone. Frank all right, Frank. Frank. Well, um, I will see you Friday. Sounds Saturday good. Saturday for sure. Uh, we'll we'll say that Saturday. We'll be, sure. we'll, yeah, we'll be there. Yeah, we'll be there. You never there. know. Maybe we'll show up on Friday. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. But we I'm know where to go now. You. Matt it's, you can surprise me. You can say that you're not going to see me. In, you know how many people have said that to me and shown up? So I will, I will, There's I'll no s- way I'm wow, going to see you that was on good. Friday. No way. I'll never see you on Friday. That's true. I won't either. So just real quick, one more question, um, or at least one for me. If there was a pl- is there a place where if somebody like myself can't make it that we could donate to your, you know, the cause or what you guys have going on? Yes, absolutely. Um, our PayPal. Uh, more than welcome at our PayPal. It is um, beardedvillainsnova at gmail.com. Beardedvillainsnova at gmail.com. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And then just leaving the note. Uh, Toys for Tot, Jingle Beards donation, and uh, we greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Nice. I'm putting the description, um, hashtag Aaron wants a nutcracker. Ooh. Beard of Villains there Nova at Gmail? Yep. Beard of Villains Nova at Gmail.com. Yep. Yep. And then hashtag Aaron wants a nutcracker. <laughs> and, Aaron uh, wants a nutcracker. Yeah. We'll get oh. that. Perfect. There we go. All right. Frank, we appreciate it. We will uh, thank you. Scroll that real. Do it. Show Do it. The Bam. There, there it is. Perfect. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Great being on here. Uh, All right, Frank. Y'all enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you, sir. You too. And hey, hey, have fun and uh, good luck this weekend. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yep. See you this Take weekend. Care. Later. See you, Frank. He did. Frank it. the tank. Frank the tank. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that just I, happened. That did literally just, happen. just happened right now. What do, you, what do you think his favorite tank was? That's what I was going to ask him, and I forgot. <sighs> I don't know. Either way, but we also forgot to mention this at the beginning of the episode, that today is the last night to enter the No Shave November contest for Honest Amish. So if you guys would like to, this you could just read. And first place is going to get a hoodie and products. Second place is going to get coffee, mugs, and products. Third place is going to get a hat and products. And please use code no shave 21 for a 15% discount off the entire order, honestamish.com. And shipping is free on all order over $35. All you have to do is email your photos. It's super easy. No shave at honestamish.com. It's so easy. Even I can do it. Yeah. If Matt can do it, you can do it. And you have what? Three more hours till you can't do it anymore. Unless you live in California, then, you know, you've got six more hours. That's good math. I did it. I did math. Um, But yeah, like Matt said, this is the last night to be doing your No Shave November for Honest Amish. You'll get all kinds of products. I'm serious. They they really load up these uh, these swag bags that go to these people. So just you should do it. I don't have... Like one woman that's entered and two must. No, I've got must. Everything's full except for, uh, I think men's creative, women's creative, and maybe chops. No, chops is full. I think that's it. Just men's and women's creative, I think, is the only ones that's not full. And hmm. they may be full at this point because I know I got a bunch of emails earlier. But hey, you got a couple more hours and it's. You don't have to pay anything. You don't have to do anything. It could be an old ass picture. Who cares? Um, just send it. Send it to the email. Um, send it. You never know. But yeah. So go ahead, Matt. Do your thing. Oh yeah. So uh, I'm Matt, and you guys, you guys have been watching the show, and we really appreciate it. Next Tuesday, I won't see you here because uh, we're we're going to take the week off. But the following. Tuesday, make sure you guys come back because it's going to be amazing to see Scott back in Tejas with Aaron. And uh, they're going to have a lot to catch up because they're going to have a whole extra week of stuff to talk about. So obviously check it out. And uh, on Thursdays, if you're bored right here on Talking Beards, not right here, but on YouTube. So right here, if you're watching on YouTube, you can uh, you can see a show. And it's gonna uh, I'm going to be on it. And it's probably not going to be the most exciting thing you've ever seen on a Thursday. Yeah, right. But it's something to it's do. It's Beard Laws. It is Beard Laws. And I don't know what we're going to do. 
but it'll be fun. We got a new format where it's just more free flowing and we just have a good time talking about uh, crazy news articles and they're, it's, it's pretty fun. And then right after this episode, if you have not had enough Matt McClear and you haven't had enough, you know, online talk show thing, tune over to Beard Laws or Beard Laws on YouTube at nine o'clock Eastern for TikTok Tuesday. You, and if you're already watching on Beard Laws, just stay tuned. Yeah, just stay right know, there. Yeah, just stay put. Yeah, stay put. And um, no, I uh, I can't thank you enough. Obviously, Aaron, shout out to the producer Natalie, the hard work and Natalie in the background that, uh, that that's helping with all you know, making us look good. You know, putting the makeup on Aaron in the back room and all that stuff. So uh, no, this is awesome. I love being a part of this, and everybody watching you guys are amazing. So that, that's that's all I got. That's all I got, too. All right, Matt. Uh, everybody, tune over to TikTok Tuesday. That's where Matt will be. All right, buddy. I appreciate it. Hey. All right. Hey, listen. Don't be nervous. You're going to be on the big screen. You're going to get through this. It's, it's going to be all right. And real quick, make sure you guys go over to TalkingBeards.com. There could be the podcast stuff on there, but there's some sweet merch I heard on there. It would be a great Christmas present for the Talking Beards fan in your life to have some sweet swag. And of always, HonestAmish.com. Okay, that's all I got for real. Bye. Okay, bye. That was Matt McClear of Beard Laws. And I'm going to finish this up all by myself. But uh, first up, we have Talking Beards, the Natalie update. So uh, she was feeling pretty much like garbage last week. That was uh, pretty much it. She she felt bad, uh, like, like she was swelling. And we think maybe there was something wrong with some medicine she was taking. So they adjusted some medicine. She started feeling better. And yesterday she still felt kind of crappy, but it may have been because she ate tacos, but maybe not. Maybe she was coming down with something because today she's definitely sick. And, uh, I don't know. I just part of just running and gunning for seven straight days. Maybe it's just too much on her. So I, I was afraid this was going to happen, but hopefully most of our trips are a little smoother. Now we won't be going from, you know, sunny Florida to cold and rainy Kentucky to Louisiana that was apparently cold and rainy as well. And then back home where it's just, you know, not cold, not warm, not rainy. It's just kind of in the middle. And that's where we are now. We're just kind of in the middle with weather. Um, But yeah, Natalie does not feel well today. Maybe tomorrow she'll be feeling a little bit better. Maybe it's like a weather thing. Who knows? Um, But it's always an adventure with Natalie D. Johnston and Hopefully tomorrow she's feeling better because I know she feels like crap today. So that was the Natalie update for today. So let's get into this. Talking beards, the competitions. Check out these upcoming comps, y'all. So like we talked about already, tonight is the last night you can get involved or enrolled or whatever. You just want to just, just do it. Send your email to no shave at honest and, uh, yeah, just send in your picture and your and your address. And if you win, I already have your address. If you don't send your address and you just sent your picture and you won, I'll just reach out to you and get your address then. We just need your picture. That's it. It's super, super easy. You have right like three hours or four hours or whatever. If if as long as it's in my email by the time I wake up tomorrow, we'll just we'll just go with it. Cause you know, who cares? So let's do this. So Friday, if you are in the Lexington area and you were good friends with Patrick Crayons White and you you think you'll be invited, but, you know, whatever, because it's invite or whatever it is. If you know Patrick Crayons, just go. So this will be at the uh, it's the address is on there. I don't know where it is. It's uh, 1108 Winchester Road, Lexington, Kentucky. It's Friday at eight o'clock, um, six o'clock. So. Natalie and I were going to go to this and uh, we had all of our crayons ready, ready to go. And she pointed out that this starts at six. So we'd at least be there till eight. Um, It's an eight hour drive from there to here to Jingle Beards and load in for this competition for Jingle Beards is like 10 a.m. So if you do all the math, I would get a grand total of three hours sleep with a shower if we left at eight o'clock and had no traffic. So needless to say, I, I mailed all my crayons to uh, Brian coin and unfortunately we can't make it to Lexington. 
So I had to cancel our hotel and all that because I was doing too much. And luckily, Natalie, you know, caught what I had done and fixed the situation. And unfortunately, we can't make it to Lexington. But if you are in Lexington and you want to send some crayons up there, there is still time. So, yeah, still getting crayons for crayons. Don't matter. So just go do that. So if you've been watching this episode for the last, I don't know, a little bit, 50 minutes, you know all about this one. This is Jingle Beards 3 2021. We are back and live. This will be at the Loudon Kitchen and Bar. It'll be in Leesburg, Virginia this weekend at noon. It'll run from noon to 7-ish. Um, if you want to know about that, that competition coming up, then rewind the VCR and start over because we just talked all about it with Frank the Tank. Speaking of... Frank the Tank. If you would like some Honest Amish products, put it in hashtag Frank the Tank in the chat and you can win in about nine minutes. So after Jingle Beards, we found this one. Fear the Beard. Sixth annual is at the Crooked Rooster Brewery in McLeany, Florida. This will be Saturday, December 11th at noon. Um, don't really know much about it. It's a sixth annual. It's at uh, the Crooked Rooster Brewery. Uh, it's four hours and 21 minutes from Aiken, South Carolina. I do know that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of by Jacksonville. So if you're in the Florida area and you want a competition on the 11th, then by golly, there's one for you and McLeany go, go to it. So yeah, Friday after that we have coming up Friday, December 17th, uh, I don't know what all this means. BSBC's Randy Sam's Outreach Shelter Benefit Beard Competition. That is a mouthful, and Buffon will be there. It says it right there. John. Guess what? John is Buffon. So, yeah. The, the Bearded Sinners Beard Club of Texas will be putting this on in downtown Texarkana, Arkansas. Um yeah, go check it out. I, I didn't know anything about it until a couple days ago, and here it is. So Friday night, you can go to this competition. And if you want to be super crazy, hey, Natalie, we could do this. Let's be crazy. We're not going to do this. Um, Saturday, December 18th, you cool beards and hot wings, wings and whiskers. We will be at this competition. But what I was saying is you could do this competition and then go to this competition, but it's super far apart and I will not be doing it, but this will be at Duke's brew house in Brandon, Florida, uh, about an hour and a half South of Orlando. And it'll be at three o'clock, two o'clock on Saturday, December 18th. This is a bearded villains of Orlando and swamp side bearded villains event with just one and Christine M. Algaretti, who will be on the show our returning episode after the 7th. So the week of the 18th, Christine M. Algaretti will be on to talk about Cool Beards and Hot Wings, the competition. So if you are on the other side of the whole country and you cannot make it to Florida on the 18th, boy, do I have a deal for you. You can go to Arizona instead. And so this is Battle of the Beards. It'll be at 12 p.m. Or maybe that's the... The competition, Battle of the Beards, 12 p.m. That's a good name for a competition. So uh, it's out there in Arizona at uh, a Harley Davidson dealership. I cannot read it. Uh, yeah, Superstition Harley Davidson. There it is. So out there in Apache Junction, Arizona. And that will be this weekend of the 18th. I don't know. There we go. Uh, 2 p.m., 3 p.m. Eastern. So that's probably where the 12 p.m. comes from. Arizona time. Uh, that's it. Wow, kind of snuck up on myself. Starts at noon. Emily Diver is here. What's up, girl? So she sent me a thing. Uh, the PayPal. Oh my gosh, I lost it. Where are you? Why are you not in my thing anymore? Anyway, there's a PayPal. Hit up Emily and she'll she'll give it to you if you want to. Uh, there it is. PayPal is uh, at BeardMobAZ for Arizona. Um, if you cannot make it to the competition, you just want to donate. You can definitely do that. So 
If you want to do that, you can. Or if you want to donate to uh, the Bearded Villains of uh, Northern Virginia, I also have that one. Bearded Villains Nova at gmail.com. So that's the PayPal if you want to donate to Toys for Tots. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, we did it. Uh, thank you, Matt, for stopping by and helping me out tonight. Thank you, Andrew, for making our cool little pictures like you always do. And Frank the Tank. Frank a Buddha. Yes, that was right. Um, yeah. Thank you for everybody who... <laughs> My cats are nuts for, uh, you know, stop by and watch the show tonight. So if you all are ready, uh, where did my share screen thing go? There we go. Add the screen. Are y'all ready? This is your absolute last possible moment to type in hashtag Frank the Tank to win some Honest Amish products. You will get a soap, a wax, a balm, and an oil. That's like, that's like a whole beard growing kit. So here we go. Oh my gosh. Are y'all excited? I know I am. Oh, oh, oh. Scott Turner! Congratulations! You won. I think I might have your address, sir. Um, Scott, if you're still watching, go ahead and send me your address just in case I don't already have it, you know, stored away somewhere. Andrew Matson, as per usual, says it was rigged because he didn't win. Uh sorry, you can try again in two weeks. Andrew Matson, thank you everybody for watching. Congratulations, Scott Turner! You are the grand prize winner for sure. You you won all the products. So I'm Aaron D. Johnston. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Twitter, and you can find me on Facebook at Aaron D. Johnston. Um, I'm at uh, Talking Beards on TikTok. I maybe one day I'm going to make another post. You never know. You never know. And you know, for all your holiday shopping needs, you can go to honestamish.com. You can use Talking Beards, the promo code, to save 15% off your order. If you didn't get in on the, the Black Friday and the uh, Cyber Monday sales we had going on, because things were crazy at Honest Amish headquarters this weekend, for sure. But, you know, 15% off your order every old day is pretty good and over $35. Get for shipping. So these are all positives. That's it. I don't know what else to say. I'm all by myself. I don't have Scott. I don't have Matt. Natalie's not even in here with me. What a what a hectic night. But anyway, thank you everybody for watching and tuning in. And I will see you in two weeks. Unless, you know, I see you at Jingle Beards. <laughs> Um, where else so I'll be? I'll be in Pennsylvania. Then the 11th, I probably won't be in Florida. And the 18th, we'll be in Brandon, Florida. So if you're not in any of those locations, then just watch me on Talk of Beards because I'm here too. So thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. Make sure you use that promo code Talk of Beards at honestamish.com. And that's it. Everybody have a great night. Okay, bye. Thanks for tuning in to Talking Beards. Make sure you go over to honestamish.com and use promo code TALKINGBEARDS to get 15% off your order. Don't forget to tune in live next Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern at talkingbeards.com.